Hi, in this video I'm looking at this question here where we've got $45,000 is invested at 6.3% per annum compounding yearly and we want to know what is the investment worth at the end of four years and how much interest was earned in just the third year of the investment. And so to answer this question I'm actually going to use the recurrence relation for compound interest. And the recurrence relation for compound interest says that each term, or well, the next term, is given by R times the previous term. And R is 1 plus whatever the interest rate is. So our interest rate is 6.3% per annum compounding yearly. So our R, well our I, is going to be that 6.3%, which we've got to divide by 100 to turn it into a decimal. And we would also have to divide by how many times this happens each year, but it's yearly, so it happens once. So we have an I of 0 0.063. And so that means that our R is going to be 1 plus 0 0.063. And so therefore we have an R of 1.063. And then we can work with AN, but instead of AN, we first got to work out our first term, because really AN is each successive term, so we've got to figure out what the first term is. And the first term is our principal. It's how much we initially invest. So our first term is 45,000. Just don't need the decimal sign because we're just doing numbers with this. So now I can go and start answering my questions because I have this recurrence relation that says that each year's amount at the end of each year is going to be 1.063 times by how much we had each year where our first year is $45,000. So now I go and let's have a look at part A. Part A, I want what was the investment worth at the end of four years. So at the end of four years, we've got to work out the first year, second year, third year, and then the fourth year. So at the end of the first year, so we have A1. That's going to be, following our relation here, 1.063 multiplied by our first year, our starting amount. So after the first year, so we go to A0, which was the 45,000. Which means that our first year, the end of the first year, we are going to have $47,835 in the account. Then we can go and work out the second year. So our second year is going to be our R, 1.063, multiplied by our previous amount, which in this case was A1, so 47835. So at the end of the second year, we're going to have $50,000 and 848 and 60 cents. Then we can go work out the third year. So our third year is going to be 1.063 multiplied by our second years. So we got 5084860. So our third year is going to be $54,052.50. And then we can finally work out our fourth year. So our fourth year is going to be 1.063 multiplied by our third year's amount, 54,052.6. So that we have finally at the end of the fourth year, we have fifty seven thousand dollars four hundred and fifty seven and thirty four cents so the investments value at the end of four years is 
that amount, and we would write that. The investment is worth five seven four five seven point three four at the end of four years. So now to work out part B, where part B is asking us for how much interest was earned in the third year of the investment. So our third year starts at the end of the second year and finishes at the end of the third year. So we want to know how much interest was gained between the end of the second and the end of the third. So that means that we're going to work out what is our A3, our end of our third year, minus off our A2, the end of our second year. So we're going to have $54,052.06, and we're going to minus off the end of our second year's amount, fifty thousand eight hundred and forty eight dollars and sixty cents and so that would give us three thousand two hundred and three dollars and forty six cents so there is three thousand two hundred and three dollars and forty six dollars gained in the third year And we're done. So we can use our recurrence relation to help us work out questions based on how much can we have at the end of an investment or partway through the investment, working out each term as we go, as well as how much was gained in a particular term or in this case a year.